Good afternoon and wherever you are watching the program, this is Moment on Star Television, the House of Communication. Today on the program, I have somebody, somebody who's been fighting corruption in Sierra Leone. He's the ACC boss, that is the Anti-Corruption Commission um, boss, Commissioner Francis Ben Kelfara. A little over two years, that's June 28, was when he assumed office. So, what does that mean and how tedious the road has been over the past two years in fighting corruption? Good afternoon, Mr. Ben Kelfala. Good, Good afternoon. to have you back. Thank you, Bill. It's always a pleasure hosting you in this office for us to discuss issues around the fight against corruption. Two years ago, corruption, if I understand it and the way it was going, was like an accepted norm in Sierra Leone. Is that the case today? Well, um, as you are aware, Bill, after uh, the confidence was imposed in me by His Excellency President Brigadier Ritoya and Dr. Julius Madabu to lead the fight against corruption, our country was in a very bad shape. The perception, for example, the corruption perception in the country, how citizens believe that the efforts were being done in the fight against corruption was as low as 15%. Uh, the commission was had little, uh, there was little confidence in the people that the commission could take on the challenge of fighting corruption. So um, the international indexes were so bad. We, 2014, for example, we were among the most corrupt countries in the world, according to Transparency International's CPI, Control of Corruption Perception Index. Afro Barometer, uh, MCC control of, against control of Corruption, we were failing at 49% in 2017. Uh, generally, within the country, corruption was almost something which you could stare in the eyes because people felt like do it and get away with it. So it was against this backdrop. Even though a lot of effort was being done by the people in the commission and commissioners before we put in their own efforts, they, they did very well in terms of trying to ensure that the situation is improved. However, the reality of the ground was that uh, the country was not in the position that we wanted to be. So it was against this backdrop that I came in to lead the fight against corruption. And I came in, rallied the team at the ACC who bought into the vision of His Excellency the President and myself uh, for us to lead a, a radical transformation in terms of how to change the fight against corruption. And we deployed the tools immediately. We, we, we started working on it and uh, within six months to to one year, as you can recall, we have been discussing this from the very beginning. You are one of those who have kept abreast. The changes that we desire have started taking effect. So, as a result of the, 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 the some engineering which we deployed into the system, corruption perception shot up very high. From 15%, for example, in the, in the Afro Barometer. It shot up from 15% to 66% of citizens now believed that effort was making good effort in the fight against corruption. The MCC Control of Corruption Scorecard, it first jumped from the failing position of 79%. By 2018, just about when I was just closing one year in office, it shot up to 71%. By, 20, 70, by 2019, it shot up again to 79%. When you talk about the Transparency International Scorecard, we jumped 10 places in just one year, 2019. 10 places. We scored the highest score ever, 33%, in the CPI um, index. Generally, even on the ground, the Center for Accountability, Accountability of Rule of Law did a corruption perception survey recently. And 92% of citizens believe that the ACC is a credible institution to deal with corruption. That is the vote of confidence from the citizens. But beyond the statistics 
and the 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 performance globally and locally in terms of corruption perception and the, the actuality of fighting corruption what we are doing in terms of prevention <coughs> prosecution and uh, public education is gaining, is gaining so much momentum the results are huge the citizens can feel that what we are doing is really the best interest we are recovering money from people who are corrupt nearly two million dollars within this period we are talking about we are recovering properties and returning them to government we are recovering vehicles we are going to as far as guinea getting vehicles that we have stolen and taking there uh, on the alleged collusion of government officials we are bringing them back into the country and handing them over to the government in terms of prosecutions we have a huge uh, percentage of convictions in 2018 whilst i have been here throughout that period we had 14 straight convictions and no acquittal but going beyond that in 2019 there were 20 persons charged in court for corruption 16 of them were convicted with only four acquittal and some of them the trials are still going so you can see that realistically there is a lot of results coming out from the efforts we are putting in the fight against corruption uh, the people at the commission are fired up the staff are fired up and they are their their contribution in this regard is what is the result we are seeing so mr commissioner how did you sort of revamp this office that you came in that you spoke about was having problems well, what, what, I did, you, you, what i did was i i understood the problems uh, and the problems was not because like i said commissioners of staff were not doing their best they, they 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 were giving in their best it was just that my approach was different first of all when i came into the commission i met with the staff in a staff meeting sold the vision to them listened to their problems and constraints in terms of their wages and amelorations emoluments their their staff promotion issues there were staff there who it had taken 10 years they had never been promoted some had been here for over 10 years with no promotion so the staff motivation was low also there were issues surrounding the politics in the country had taken root in the commission in such a way that there was a lot of suspicion among staff so i had to come and deal with all those and uh, when i came that is the first thing i set up to do to correct those things make sure that staff for, for example their wages were immediately increased by 10 percent promotion issues almost every staff of the commission as i speak today has now benefited from some form of promotion and the promotion took consideration of the several years of backlog that has been there that they were not promoted introduced a fair system of promotion for them we have introduced an insurance scheme for them which did not exist so that when they have accidents on the job that something can be done about it but generally we introduce a system of trust where the staff can believe that we are doing something in their interest and it is that system of trust that made them to want to give their all and they are giving their all uh, we did not sack people in their jobs because of whatever language they speak or where they come from as a matter of fact this is the since i've been here only two people were sacked and they were sacked as a result of non-performance and promotions are done fairly it does not matter where you come from it does not matter what language you speak so it's this kind of thing that we made because as you know bill i may have all the understanding of corruption in the country and the vision to implement it but i cannot do it by myself i need these people to do it once i did that and they bought in the program started happening things started falling in place i can assure you i don't have to be here for things to move the commission is self-moving right now the directors know their roles they perform it without me having to bring down their necks my job is the easiest one so it gives me the opportunity to concentrate but more generally in the country we now set up to build a an anti-corruption system that is structured on the pillars of prevention public education prosecution and investigation we also brought in strategies that can help them we we made sure that Sierra Leone has good laws we enforce them so we tried to take away the element of impunity because one of the things that was happening is that a lot of people believe that they could get away with corruption and if people believe that they can get away with corruption and the chances of them being caught is low they will not fear the law but we made sure that for example we do follow-ups and audits audit reports we follow them through 
So your chances of getting away with it is low. We made sure that there are no secret cows. We, 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 our investigations covers all facets of public life. We have even stretched the boundary of the fight against corruption to go to areas that we are hitherto not done in, on that scale. For example, in the area of education, in the area of electricity, theft and distribution, in the areas of, um, of um, ensuring that we do sting operations in healthcare delivery systems. You understand? We introduced a powerful elite squad called the Scorpio Squad, who act on intelligence, go in with positions, and catch people red-handed, and then we use that to set example in the country. These are all things that we have done, and uh, we have basically practicalized and uh, made the fight against corruption visible. And that visibility is what is, 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 is helping us to be able to control perception and to also be able to 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 receive the results that we are getting for the country whether in terms of perception whether in terms of actual corruption people call me all the time with testimonies they say i used to do business at the water key everywhere people used to ask me for money now i go there at least the scale is not as it used to be and some say nobody even asks me checkpoints some people go through they call me and say look i just went through checkpoints i even offered these people money they did not receive Police officers are beginning to understand that their role in all of this is important. The judiciary is beginning to understand. So all around we have put in an engineering that is taking root in the country and the results are being useful for us. When you talk about the, <coughs> uh, the plans or what you're doing to arrest corruption, recently during, at the checkpoints when the inter district lockdown was on mm -hmm. there was report widespread report on corruption at the checkpoint yes we that in fact, if you follow yes it came to our notice and we carried out a systematic um sting operation in all checkpoints along this route we even arrested a military officer who was receiving a bribe so that sent the right message there and it shows that we did not just sit down and not do anything about it. The military officer was arrested and he has been handed over to the military for this action against him. We have also been monitoring all these things. Sometimes really people exaggerate these things, but we understand that, look, we are not yet out of the woods when it comes to the fight against corruption. There is still a lot that we have to do. But what we can show, what we are showcasing is that the effort that we are putting in is having effect. And we are doing that effort for the good of the country and it is already taking effect because fighting corruption you cannot entirely eliminate corruption what you do is to control it it's like a disease in your system that you know you cannot take out but you can control it in such a way that it does not debilitate your system it does not make you not be able to do what you have to do so this is what we are doing and the success of the fight against corruption rewards the efforts not necessarily the result as long as you are putting in conscientious effort you are taking necessary steps you are punishing where you should punish you are engaging where you should engage that is what the rewards come in and that is the results you get at the end of the day some members of the public say that in fighting corruption you are sort of practicing witch hunt do you agree? No, I disagree entirely. In fact, um, I'm sure that notion has been dispelled massively. At the beginning, when I came in, it was a transitional government. The new government had come in. There were not people who you would say are being corrupt because it was the beginning. But there were several people who had been in power some 10 years in office, five years. So it was the past <coughs> regime. And this was a new party which won the elections and came to power. So naturally, our efforts were going to look into the past and we did look into the past and we are still looking in the past many people have been arrested many people have been detained many people have been uh, prosecuted many convictions have come from the past many uh, cases are ongoing from the past uh, there is a continuation of investigation of people in the past and i am not disagreeing i am not re denying that we did look into the past and we are still looking into the past but to say that we are not looking into the present it's not correct because in the present we have done a lot what have you done in the present that is it for example 
uh, all these thing operations I'm talking about are not things of the past. And you are aware of many of them. From teachers to ministries to departments and agencies to checkpoints to wherever it is, electricity theft and everything. We carry out sting operations. We inform the public directly and they know. But going beyond that, we have prosecuted health of institutions in the current government. The Sierra Leone Maritime Administration, the head was prosecuted. Is actually being prosecuted right now as we speak. We were able to do recoveries from them. The, 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 the Commission of Inquiries, those who stole the money, the director in the Ministry of Information, these are all people in the current regime. Three of them were prosecuted and convicted immediately for taking the Commission of Inquiry money and using it for their own purposes. Going beyond that, you know, the Rice Saga, the, 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 the former Minister of Education and the current Minister of Labor, the Deputy Minister of Education, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of, 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 of Education, the Nutritionist in the Ministry of Education, we have prosecuted those people. We have investigated them. We have even investigated as high as the office of the president, the state chief of protocol, who was accused of unexplained wealth. We investigated her and came out with a conclusion in the presidency. These are things that were not happening before in this country. So whether you take it from the presidency to ministries, to departments and agencies, to to petty corruption areas like checkpoints, police officers, and all these things. We are doing a lot in the present. So they claim that we are not doing anything. In fact, if we put the statistics of our investigations right now, you see that we are doing more about the present than we are doing in the past. So it is simply incorrect to say that it is a wish hunt against people of the past. Of course, if it's a wish hunt against the people of the past, we will not be having the results that we are getting. The citizens will not have the kinds of confidence. 92% is a distinction confidence rate from the citizens of Sierra Leone. Afrobarometer, 66% confidence in government efforts in the fight against corruption. Moving 10 places in Transparency International Scorecard. When we have stagnated for three years in the same position, Mr. Wager, it will be simply disingenuous for anybody to say that we are doing nothing about the present. We are doing a lot about the present and will continue to do so. Mr. Commissioner, one area that people are worried, concerned about, I don't know whether you're thinking of that or whether it has come to your notice, it is the land um, business in Sierra Leone today. Yes, yes. People are saying there is a lot of corruption going in there. These very people don't come forward with the evidence that we need. Most times the claims are that the ministry says this is state land and you say no, this is my land. Those issues are to be determined by the judiciary of Sierra Leone. You have a right to instruct a lawyer to go and determine that this is your land. But most times those who are claiming that there is actual corruption in the land system, for them to come forward, we even went on radio and announced that if anybody has anything about the Ministry of Lands which is corrupt, come forward. True, there are certain cases which are here, they are being investigated, but most times our conclusions cannot lead to criminality. They are mostly dealt with administratively. We refer to the permanent secretary and say, look, we have looked into this, we think that that person has a case, please correct it, and they will correct it. Because you see, Criminal threshold is a very high threshold to put criminality on somebody. Somebody can do something administratively wrong. Yes, it may be abuse of position, it may be abuse of office, but the threshold required by law, which is beyond a reasonable, uh, a reasonable doubt, is very high. So it is not every case that we can charge to court. It's not every issue that we can charge to court. If, for example, people come for, with evidence of bribery of officers of the Ministry of Lands who take action against it, but they are not willing to come forward. Many people will come to my office and say, this is happening, oh, this person asked me for, for a bribe. And I say, okay, we are ready to go and arrest him today and prosecute him tomorrow. Oh, no, no, I don't want to be a witness. I don't want to be involved. If I go and charge that person to court, I have to prove my case beyond a reasonable doubt. If we don't have a willing citizenry who can come forward, I mean, two days ago somebody came to me that in the in the in the in the registry that processes permits 
that they gave him a receipt for less than what he paid. But he was not even willing to give me that copy of that receipt that was given to me so that we can be able to take action on it. Mr. Wager, how do we expect to get conviction? It is the same people when we go to court and we don't get conviction, they say ACC is losing all its cases because its case is not good. But you are not willing to be a witness. You are not willing to provide the, even the evidence that is in your possession to me for me to take action. Who is going to testify against these people who charge to court? Me, Commissioner? I was not there when the transaction took place. And the court will just dismiss the cases. So these are the difficulties we are having. But I can assure you that we are doing what we can about the Ministry of Lands, just as we are doing with every other ministry to ensure that we control corruption effectively. So what would you like to tell the citizens now that you are on the media and they're watching you, we are reaching across a lot of people right now about this land issue? I want citizens to believe that it is their responsibility, as much as it is our responsibility, to fight corruption. And there is corruption, there is poverty, there is the general lack in our society because of the mismanagement of our resources that is brought by corruption. It's the disease that is destroying their children are not getting good education. They themselves, the value for their money is not what it should be. They are working in institutions and they are not well paid. If we control corruption, we'll have enough resources to take care of everybody. This is a country that is blessed. It has the resources human and material it has the right environment it has the right soil it has the right geographical location for us to thrive this is eden on earth but for it to become the eden that it was supposed to be it is us who have to take responsibility for it so if we are here being paid for our job let them help us succeed if they cannot testify, we will not be able to get convictions. And if we cannot get convictions, the right message will not be sent to those who want to do it. It will not deter them from doing it. But if the citizens stand behind us, as some are doing, but we need a lot more to get involved, we will be able to change the story for this, of this country for good. Are you satisfied with the perception of members of the public about the anti-corruption office? Oh yes, I mean, we do not judge ourselves. Those who carry out surveys have said that over 80% of the citizens agree that the commission is doing very well. 92% believe that they should report corruption to us. That is a very high vote of confidence, Mr. Weja. Now, I've told you, it used to be 15% in 2017. In 2015, it was as low as 15%. So, <laughs> for it to be that high now shows that there is something we are doing right and the citizens are appreciating it. The citizens are appreciating it. So what would you like to tell the citizens uh, to have a kind of a love-loss relationship with your office? Because some people are afraid to come to your office. Uh, what I want to assure them, they have to understand that uh, these results that we are producing, they themselves hear the billions of millions we are recovering from citizens who are corrupt. They hear the number of convictions we are getting in court. They hear how the international community is appreciating the country how the image of the country under His Excellency uh, Brigadier Retired Dr. Julius Madabu is taking root. Our reputation, look at, for example, we have coronavirus, look at the amount of inflow of aid that is coming in because now the international community believes that there is a proper, transparent accountability system in place. And the watchdogs like us, the Anti-Corruption Commission, are doing what we are supposed to do. They have to understand that the bulk also, the, 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 we have to turn to them as well to continue to believe in us, to support us. When they see something, they should be willing to say something. That is the only way we will continue to build on the successes that we have done in these two years that I have been in office and before. And of course, we will be able to support the president to succeed in his agenda for a transparent and accountable Sierra Leone. Is your commission looking at the money that is coming in for the COVID-19 saga in Sierra Leone? Oh yes, in fact, more than ever before, we are now more involved in that. We have two teams. We have the prevention team that is embedded. 
to make sure they apply they advise those who are dealing with money in real time to make sure procurements are followed to make sure that the right processes are followed but beyond that we have set up a quick rapid response team of the scorpion squad investigators who can go in whenever there is a corrupt practice alleged or reported so that there and then we deal with it and if you have been following you will see that we have we have we have put out notices to the effect of the success of some of the things that they are doing so yes we are very much involved and we are not we are not doing a fire brigade kind of anti-corruption fight where we wait for the fire to have engulfed everything before the ambulances come running in we are deploying the fire extinguishers now in every corner in every place to make sure that we extinguish the fire the moment the smoke starts coming out and that is what is helping us in the fight against corruption well why should we wait <laughs> to extinguish the fire before the smoke comes out according to the bigger boss here at anti-corruption commission's office francis ben kefala we are taking a break and thank when you. we do come back the program moment continues thank you very much Welcome to the second segment of the program, Moment Broadcast on Star Television, the house of communication. We are looking at something, I would say, that everybody, it touches you in Sierra Leone, wherever you are, as long as you are a Sierra Leonean. Because at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? We want Sierra Leone, at least, to become a place that we can call a paradise. What has been going on in the past, we would like to see at least. We leave something for our young kids, our grandkids. So at the end of the day, they're not going to accuse me or you to say, Granddad, what did you leave for us? So, that is why I am here with the Anti-Corruption Commissioner, Francis Ben Kerfala, to look and see how he is changing the narrative of corruption in Sierra Leone today. Because, like I said earlier, corruption, according to some people, not all though, have become a kind of uh, accepted norm in the community which is not good at all not so mr commissioner oh yes i mean corruption is like a cancer you have to to either control it or kill it if not it will kill you so um and the history of our country is replete with corruption we have had coup d'etats in the 60s that were blamed on corruption we've had coup d'etats in the 90s that were blamed on corruption We've had a social revol a, 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 a war, a revolution in the country, the RUF, that blamed corruption for the reason why they brought war, that killed over 50,000 Sierra Leoneans. Yet, the TRC report blamed corruption as one of the key culprits and reasons for the war and for the problems of Sierra Leone. So, we do not have an option. We have to fight corruption like our lives depend on it. 
It has to be the primary occupation of every Sierra Leonean. We should sleep and wake with it in our mind that we have to do something about it. And we don't have to leave it to the government. We don't have to leave it to the Anti-Corruption Commission. We have to, each of us, in our own individual ways, do something to address corruption. If this country is to become the beacon of social evolution that we all desire to be. Mr. Commissioner, what you've just said, I think I would just ask you if you can do that for us in the local language at least, so that at least when the people with the watch now, me uncle, me auntie, me and granny, me papa them, eh, they will understand fully well what they talk about, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, Mr. Wager, thank you when you give me the opportunity for talk this evening. <laughs> Corruption na like cancer, na disease, na sickness, will they destroy the fabric of society? Will they destroy Sierra Leone? Will they make that picking where they go to school? Not go get good school, they not get sight for sit home. In teachers, they not they be paid well. Will they make person the sick go hospital? You know they meet within supposed to make sure say they get proper, adequate health care. Where they make people they hungry, they don't get food because the government not able to provide for them. Because the individual interest, they supersede the, the collective interest. That interest winner for we all. And as you know, Mr. Wager, corruption don't make from the 60s, from the days of the school leaders of Jackson Smith and others, that corruption and blame for we the military take over in 1967. After that, even in the 90s, when MPRC take over, Captain Valentine Strasser and his team, they say that corruption and reason. But beyond what happened for the coup d'etat, the rebel war will take place in Sierra Leone, will lead to the death of 50,000 people and more. Destruction of lives and properties. Now corruption, food is and call, and people they blame for it. After we the war done, we get a TRC. We, they were the ways we passed with them, bishop them. With other people, them sit down. They look into what did lead to the war and why is really there, how it is so. Now, corruption are the main thing with the blame. Therefore, I want every Sierra Leonean, let me wake. Let him know, say, the one thing where we really need for tackle and fight in salon is corruption. Let him preoccupy in mind. Let him make sure, say, he know, say, he never left the fight against corruption to government alone, to the corruption commission alone. Let it be every man's challenge for, say, Salon must better, and if Salon for better, we for attack and fed corruption. Where you see something way wrong, where you see something way corrupt, now for talk and report and support the commission for go after the one they will do. Waiting, you will try for talk to the people and want to watch the program right now. I think because we not get that kind of culture in we when we see something they go wrong for say let we talk. Because if I work on it, at two eight or two are gone, person who can't meet me say Mr. Wager, what you do say no fam pick up him. Well, I want to make you talk to the people and we get this kind of attitude. I go want to let the people of Sierra Leone move away from that kind of attitude. Eh? Let them understand, say, the public space now we all get up. You for talk. Because without that person they put that dot in the ground, that dot they block the, the drainage, where the water can not get road, they create road for itself. The water they go inside all my house. So now all responsibility for make sure see, that dot is not left there. So if Mr. Wager put dot in the ground, if I go tell us, say, Mr. Wager, this wrong, take her. Do not take up like cause maximum confusion panel. The same thing with corruption. If they give somebody for make road where they lead to a village na not and Sierra Leone, na a village from Makeni to one of the villages that surround the Makeni, and the person go eat the money. Na they want whole society go for benefit from that road. Now they suffer. I can always tell people they say. No road, no day at this country where they go put symbol D and put say this road. Yeah, we see we don't see don't yeah. This particular tribe not the past now. Possibly we come on at this particular region on the past now. No hospital, no day where somebody sit down there, they check with your name. Now they not in Kobo. 
Now the south you come out before you enter, yeah? No, you're not for all the southeasterners. No, no, you're not for northerners. No, somebody will come out western. In day. Therefore, the collective good, so important that we for protect our which we life. And the biggest threat to the collective good, the biggest threat to all we survive, and that corruption. So that belief they say, oh, say no, now for set you mouth, where you see, oh, not talk, you know, where your arms white, now for cover up, all these things. No, 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 no. Let we move away from that one day. Let we talk. If you see something, say something. And the only way that they will make sure, say, the public space beneficial for all. When they get somebody for make road, they go make the road. When they get out for put water, they go put water, let all man get. You go put tap on the street, we all man go get. When they put, give somebody say, provide electricity, you go make sure say electricity provided. When they give somebody say, build hospital, you go build hospital. But if we continue that culture of silence, oh, people, they be tell you, say, hey, now for set you more, they say, snake, we want to do this if we hide. Now, so we continue for day. We begin and we go die and go. We begin and go come, then save day in the same rot. If we know they do our for we self self, let we do our for the water with the cargo by we. Let them enjoy this country now. This country here get blessing. It get resources, it get people. It well located. Look the harbor, how it's beautiful. Natural harbor. The British they can I make they are the center of the operation because of how beautiful this place is. Look at the geographical terrain. If you drop seed in the ground, you don't need for water, I mean they grow. Why are we for suffer? Why are we for poor? This is not the time for me to talk. And the only reason why we will be able to succeed in that mm -hmm. is we tackle corruption as something where we life depend on them. And I invite the people of Sierra Leone for do so. The people of Sierra Leone, this is not the term when I get for come out from that cultural si silence as the commissioner don't talk. Anything where you see, you go to hospital, you go for treatment, then call you in a corner and say, you forgive me this. Not say anything, try to find out the person in name, and then make sure say you get good evidence, get somebody near you. Can you report on anti-corruption? You go see what you can go do. And also, then traffic war, then traffic police not treat. News, they, they come out too much. Say, mm, Oh, no, no, they try. So, do ya? Now, now watch me, I watch you situation because anti corruption, then get them, sting people them out there. You know, go sabi them. So, take them for make, you know, run into trouble. Wait tomorrow, you go get for lost your job. So, you for be really, really be careful. Not only be careful, you for serve as a patriot. Because this is what we don't miss in salon today, not also Mr. Commissioner. Very true, very true, sir. Very true. So patriotism, if the moment we put them first, then we say no to corruption, you go see how salon they change. Me and you will all go live a better life with will picking them and the next generation self will not begin come yet. Now that we want now the country. But Mr. Commissioner, the job where you they do you say you don't talk about the staff out them very very cooperative but when you look personally make me ask you this question you're not afraid <laughs> <laughs> you see we all get afraid because you know it's in a dangerous job but they do you do go after people they were very powerful they get resources they can do anything because some monkey say before this race come let the body lay down what you see I take this as a national service. Something we somebody get for doer. We don't suffer like I say. We don't suffer in this office. Was it also we may use it also? Now six commissioners they don't they are before me. When we get this job, I take and say, na God, don't choose me for do something. Who will change the story of this country? Who will impact me people their life? And we will make sure say the country not be as it did before. And with God in power, with the support of the people them and the president, will they see the result of what they happen right now in the country? Everything they move in the positive direction. We're not there out of the woods yet. We're not and not try for toxic corruption, not disappear entirely. But we do a lot about them. 
and the effect visible. Therefore, even though we all get freed, but then get what they call courage. Courage not to the absence of fear. Courage not the ability for go on in the face of fear. For do what you need to do. For achieve results. Me no say the biggest protection where anybody get another one they will go diggy. And another they, they rely on for continue what they have to do for the country. When you can sit down because I know say woman and self then can worry, then can afraid because they really want to make sure see you deal with them. When they get tete a tete, what you have to say to you about your job? Yeah, they worry, you know, when they do that kind of job, they, are, they get very cynical people. They, they write all kinds of things on social media and they put accusations on you. They read all kinds of rumors within the political circle. They read all kinds of conspiracies and plans. People that they say all kinds of things. If you make all the 1,000 good way they do, all the 1 million good way they do, some don't even comment, some don't even care about it. We make one mistake, all hell they lose. Like, say, you don't ever do good. So, my wife, particularly my mama, get afraid, get worry. What they talk to her and say, Mama, no worry. At the end of the day, somebody get for do this job for the country. You don't burn me. You don't deal with me here and on day, what's that day now? Now, God say, make I do this. Let we just believe, say, God in protection, they over me. And let we do them. If even today people they not appreciate what they do, tomorrow, tomorrow, sometime, some people they go appreciate. And now that kind thing they, they keep me going. Now that kind thing they, they give me that kind courage for go on. So even when people they not appreciate what they do, they go, go look and go give me all kind of accusations and go always do everything. They, 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 they exaggerate simple things. Some they know the truth so. It they misrepresent them. A television, a radio, sometimes you see, though, they look somebody, they talk something, we're not on true. And you don't get no conscience about her. Even in the face of your best effort, that they criticize you, that they draw you down. Basically, they fed corruption with one hand, your other hand occupied taking people that behind you back. You are fighting for them, but they are always behind you. So you are you are you are fighting corruption this way. The other hand is saying, hey, would I come up here? Would I left me my able succeed by this thing? But we we'll continue for doing because now in the best interest of the country. June 28th, we na Sunday we just pass. Now you two year old na office, Mr. Commissioner. <laughs> Usai, now you want to take the ACC too because I know say you got strategy and plans for that. Now, we launched the anti corruption strategy recently where we put enforcement at the heart of the fight against corruption but we also plan say for make sure say prevention day because prevention is better than cure not to all time for arrest people they run after them we want now set systems whereby we they move beyond statistics we they move beyond the the things they would try for do for make sure say we consolidate all the gains they are all do in these two years this one year ahead of me now the year of consolidation of the results so that people then go now really feel the effect of what we are doing for make you go outside before then they ask you for money nobody will ask you again for make you pass now na, na checkpoint nobody not take money from you for make drivers then drive policemen they know they harass them for make you go to court you get justice without having to bribe anybody for make you able to go to checkpoint and other places them for you go to ministry for process you pay past them somebody not ask you for bribe we want now let's really function Usai na merit and Sierra Leone ness. Now in the day at the center of what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I under now I want to work on in this one year with my team at the ACC and we already have fired up for make sure say the prevention systems they will be work so that corruption not go back. But even if somebody try them. We also get the investigation and prosecution system that will go pounce on them and get them. And as they do so, we will continue to inform the public using the, the very powerful public education and public relations system we will get at the ACC. We make sure say, the public come along with the Fed. And we make sure say, they always remain for day with you and get confidence in what you will do. Mr. Commissioner, if I get you right, will you talk about the strategy we don't put in place? Where if people are going to office, 
for process and documents, they're not forgiving nobody anything. If them people and the way they take, then still they around. The person we um, affected, it can come at the commission, it can oh, make yes. a report. You can call the, the telephone number 515, now any of the phone mobile line, the 515, and you're able to report corruption directly. You get the option whether you want to do an anonymous lead, that means you not call your name, or you call your name. But beyond that, you can come to the anti corruption commission. You can say, Me, I come for car report, Mr. So 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 and so, I go for go do this, it take money in my hand. You can forward the evidence then to me. If you know me personally, you can go meet me at OS, you can come to the commission and can report corruption. And the only way that they will be able to succeed if we all join hand together to fight corruption. Let the people then believe, say, we there are for work for them. These are the people's commission. Why can't I talk and say the anti corruption commission, not to elitist endeavor, not to for the politicians they are there, not to for the government are there, not to for, for the opposition are there, now for work in the interest of the people. The Anti-Corruption Act talks say we work accountable to the people of Sierra Leone. In Adani, they are for do, working with the support of all the stakeholders then, from the president to the ministers to the judiciary to the to the security apparatus and the people themselves. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, one area where people again then they talk about is Sierra Leoneans we always lack for celebrate rogues because when you look at what in the apple as alone today you see one man they build three four five o's people then they talk about background checking for find out how this man accumulate well so when they build four five or so now the difficulties that they will get and it, 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 not just about about what they, they happen when people then they celebrated in the ordinary times. Just pass. If you see one corrupt man, they pass here. All the people that are the community, then they butu, then they bow to them. But even with churches and mosques, then they give a front seat row in the church. They know say this man is a corrupt man. They know say don't think that this office is not the produce results. But they celebrate them. This is not the culture we get for go away from. We get for we get for make sure say people they understand say. Uh, that benefit way they get if somebody for example i can always make this example if we get a good school me me family no need for come meet me for give them money for pay school fees for the picking in a private school because the public schools are they pay nothing for good you understand so even if that man they give you money it would have been better for men and build a better school that time they always they waste it. They go sit on my office there. You see everybody before you see you. So tell her they promise you, you not even give you. But if the school there, you don't need for pay and you get all the materials there for making it function properly, you picking go to go there without you needing him. So we really need for make sure, say, people then stop for celebrate the corrupt. Let them call them for who they are. Let them, 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 let them instead praise people that way they do good for the country. Let them respect them. They might be poor. They might not have the same resources as the corrupt. But let the examples be set in society. And if we do that, that's at the beginning of we own um, liberation as a people. For be self-dependent, for be self-reliant, and for make sure that the public good way the government they provide reach with all without you having for big anybody for ask for do for bigger for support you you can do business and try you can work in your office and get your salary and survive you can able to take care of you picking them you can able to do everything with somebody could do with a life basically you live a life of dignity for big somebody they take away your dignity they will move away from that day <laughs> for big somebody they take your dignity from you it just take me to the other world. We get a lot of people now in Sierra Leone today. They don't care about themselves. If they worry me and worry a lot of people, and I should say, you say go worry you. For we don't see people and they compromise their integrity just like that. Nothing we worry about. Oh well, yes, I worry about that. In fact, one of the things we do now within the prevention framework now for promote a life of ethical behavior and integrity. Because if we not build a critical mass of citizens then, 
we get integrity. If we not build a country on a foundation of integrity, we're not going to, be able to realize all the projects and aims that we get. All the national development plans, whether they announce Sababu Education Project, uh, how they call them, saying, and we get this one, they call PISP, Poverty Reduction Strategy, and all these things. They can only succeed where integrity is within the system. So we don't even get option. We need for make sure that we create a critical mass of citizens then. From the small picking where they start from the school, to the professor, to the president, to the minister, to the commissioner, to every other person where they work in public service, we get a critical mass of people that will be example of what it means to be a decent citizen. And the only way that they will be able to succeed as a country. So now the foundation, and the foundation is behavioral. We behave again for shift before the country shift to three. Well, whose message, commissioner, you go want for put to them people here so for make at least then change the lane and take the good path for take say long before. Me they encourage the Alunians there for understand say this country are uh, God creator for make we enjoy. The short time we all get for living at the world, even if you live up to 100 years, where I wish for everybody, let you live a life of dignity and enjoy who's how you born. But above all, let you die knowing that you pick in them when they come after you, and you pick in them when they come after them. But also live a life of dignity. And these are the time for me to break away from the past. Let we leave all anything that we don't hold we behind. Tribalism, tribalism, nepotism, corruption, chronic corruption. And now forge ahead in a way that we will be able to build a country on the foundation of integrity. And we will be able to realize the progress and development where we all aspire for. Then we support the president for succeed. That we support the government for succeed. That we support all the way we did play various roles them for try for change the story of Sierra Leone for succeed. If we do that, not a person in our other country they can benefit. Now we are we picking them get for benefit. I mean your message now for the people of Sierra Leone. Mr. Commissioner of the Anti-Corruption Commission, Francis Ben Kerfala, I just want to say thank you for having me on the program today moment and look forward for see our progress will come into the commission in the next one year again when i will be privileged for can interview again thank you very much mr wager and me doors always open you are a very good uh, interviewer uh, uh, by which we don't discuss all it there i'm sure say the listeners and viewers they said don't know say people like you a gem in our society and we are lucky to continue to have you which we as we do on this journey for Transform Sierra Leone. Thank you very much for your support to me personally, and thank you very much for the support to the Commission and to the country. Well, viewers, you've been watching the program, Moment on Star Television. I just want to thank you so much for watching the program, and all I can say to you, keep watching Star te Television, because, you see, it is the house of communication. Things will not bring can to me, and to me, sister, me, uncle, will not be no. But when I don't get for no today, I make I can say when I watch Star Television, when I watch Moment. But one thing I want boss to do, I they talk again. But that wage a property, wage a land. You be don't go and coach pan. I don't buy them. Do ya? I they tell you say go check your paper them back here. Too much long come. Make you get cooler. Check when I buy the land too. Yeah, because you see how the commission they talk corruption in other place na salon again. They want for kick them out in this country. So go your property, when I go check on a paper demo, it's used to really come on and do. In the coming weeks, you're going to go here again. On that note, Mr. Commissioner again, I say thank you and have a great day. Thank you very much, Mr. Wager. Thank you so much. Yeah.